Yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your internet and decrease your ping in Windows 10. So let's get right into it. Okay, so before we start with this video, as you can see only 0.1% of you guys is subscribed. Please just go ahead and make that red subscribe button grey, that would mean a lot to me. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so for the first method, we are going to change our stock DNS. You can do that by right clicking on this Ethernet icon or Wi-Fi icon, click open internet and network settings, click on Ethernet or Wi-Fi and then click on change adapter options. Then you want to right click on your Ethernet adapter that you're using or Wi-Fi adapter depends on what you're using and click on properties. Then go over and double click on Internet Protocol version 4 and click on use the following DNS server. Now this really depends on where you live but I really recommend using Google's DNS server which is 888 as primary and 8844 as secondary. I'll leave some um, on the screen right now if you want to know which one is the best for you. So that was it for changing the DNS server. Let's You can go ahead and check if it worked and if your Wi-Fi is any better. If not, let's get right into the next method. Okay, so for the second method, we are going to be turning off power saving mode for our Ethernet adapters and for your Wi-Fi adapter. So if you're using Wi-Fi, you want to go ahead and search for power and sleep settings. Go over on to additional power settings. Click on change plan settings. Click on change advanced power settings. And click on uh, wireless adapter settings, expand it and expand power saving mode and set this to maximum performance. Now this one was for wireless adapters. So now let's see how you can change this for on um, Ethernet adapters. So you can do that by searching for device manager and click on network adapters, click on your adapter, right click on it, click properties click power, um, power management and uncheck this box, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power, uncheck it and click OK. Now this one works for um, Wi-Fi adapters as well, so just do the same thing for your adapter and you should be good. Now check if your Wi-Fi is any better, if not, let's get right into the next method. Okay, so for the last method, this will be the most effective method as well. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the description and there will be two links, download both of them and extract them onto your desktop. You'll have these two files. So you want to start off by running low bat as administrator. What this basically does is it disables some of the Windows services that are unnecessary to get you your ping um, decreased. So just click any key if it's done. And there you go. You should now have like five to four lower milliseconds ping yeah i don't know how to say that but your ping should be lower so then we have tcp optimizer x you want to right click on it and click run as administrator and wait until it's done loading now what you want to do is you want to click on custom right over here and set this to your um, internet speed so you can this is basically what your internet provider what speed this gives you so, so just i recommend just setting this to the max so this one and then you want to go over to um, advanced settings and you basically want to copy my settings so for max connections you want to set this to 10 then the max connection per max connections per server you want to set this to 10 as well then local priority you want to set this to 4 host priority you want to set this to 5 DNS priority to 6 and this one to 7. Then this one you want to set this to 2. Then non stack RTT um, RISO line C. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but just set this to disable. And initial RTO you want to set this to 2000. And minimum RTO you want to set this to 300. Then there's QoS, non-best effort limit, you want to set this to zero. 
and the SQOS do not use NLA, click on optimal one. Then network throttling index, you want to set this to disabled and then FFFFF. Then system responsiveness, set this to gaming zero for the best performance. Then TCP uh, AC key frequency, oh, what, TCP AC key frequency, I'm sorry. Set this to disabled one, set this one to enabled one, this one to disabled zero. Then local no, uh, large system cache, you want to set them to zero. Then size default one. Then max user port, you want to set this to 65534. I think this is the default amount, so just leave it like uh, if you already have this. And TCP time wait delay, set this to 32. So once you've done all of them, uh, once you've changed all of them, you want to click on apply changes. And this window will pop up, just click on OK. Yeah, if you want to, you can just create a backup right over here. So you don't like break anything of your system. This is basically a registry editor. So this changes a lot of your um, things in your registry for you. So you don't have to do it yourself. So just click on backup if you want to and then click on OK. I'm not going to do a backup. So just click OK, it will load. And once it's done, it will say some res registry changes may require to reboot. So just click on um, reboot now. I'm not going to do this um, because I don't want to reboot my PC right now, but you should probably just reboot your PC, click yes. And but that was it for basically today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Peace out.